Welcome to the Existential Empath Podcast. My name is Tanya and I am an intuitive empath. My intention is to share valuable tips, tools, and techniques that I have learned so you can tap into your own inner healer naturally and intuitively. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you are all doing well. In this episode, I wanted to share a really fun manifesting technique that I have been using for several years, actually, but I've been really amping it up over the last month or two, and I've been seeing some pretty fun results with it. And I call this the manifesting with music lyrics technique. And so as far back as I can remember, even as a child, I was always changing the lyrics to songs. I used to play games with my friends where we would take different songs and change the lyrics and we would laugh so hard. And I never stopped doing this. This is something that I've been doing ever since I was a kid. And I honestly don't even remember the real lyrics to songs anymore because I've changed them so much. And so I had this kind of enlightening moment, you know, a few months back that said to me, hey, why don't you change the lyrics to songs to help reprogram your subconscious mind? And so I always joke that my higher self is like Bumblebee on Transformers. I don't know if any of you have seen that movie, but he's the yellow car that communicates through the radio, through songs. And I definitely recognize my higher self coming through oftentimes through songs. However, the lyrics are changed in those songs. And I wanted to to share this technique because it's been really helpful for me in manifesting specifically wealth and abundance because that's what I've been focusing on. But this technique can be used for anything to from relationships to health to attracting more money in your life. Really, you can choose whatever you want it to be. So we know that uh, songs can really impact us, right? We know that some songs can bring us to tears and other ones can take us right back to a memory, you know, 20 years ago. And there is a concept of frequencies that come through songs. And so for those of you who are not familiar with uh, the 440 hertz versus the 432 hertz, I would definitely go explore that a little bit, go down that rabbit hole. But I'm not going to necessarily talk about the frequencies in this show. I wanted to talk more about the lyrics and how we are programming our subconscious mind when we are singing some of our favorite songs. And so if you're recognizing that there's a song that you just love and you sing it over and over and over again, and then you begin to see things shifting in your external reality, what you're actually doing is you're reprogramming your subconscious mind. Because remember, our thoughts are electric, our emotions are magnetic. And then when we speak things out, it's like an amplifier and we broadcast that out into the universe. So when you're belting out your favorite song, you want to take a step back and be consciously aware of what are you belting out? What are these lyrics? And So I had recently gone on a trip with a friend and, you know, majority of the music I listen to is frequencies. When I drive, I listen to affirmations. I listen to different solfagio frequencies. Uh, It's been uh, a while since I've listened to actual songs with lyrics since I began to understand the deeper meaning of sound frequencies in the subconscious mind. But I knew on this trip that my friend, she loves music. She loves to sing. That is her thing. And I thought, okay, what can I do to shift the frequency of these songs? And I thought it would be really fun for us to play a game. And so both of us had been really focusing together on winning the lottery. It was something that we were really enjoying doing. We'd have fun when we talk on the phone about it and we talk about what types of things would we buy or where would we go? What would we do if we won the lottery? And so I thought it would be fun for us to actually tune into that. And so I'm an advertising communications public relations major. That's what I went to college for. And I learned that as humans, each one of us has what's called a jingle tone. And Uh, Marketing companies, advertising companies are very privy to this. They have really fine-tuned this. And so, you know, you can probably think of some of the jingles that you just can't get out of your head, like 
you know, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there, or Hot Pockets, um, or what's another one? Uh, oh, what would you do for a Klondike bar? You know, those are some that not only is it the words that you're tuning into, it's also the frequencies that you're tuning into as well. And so understanding that and then understanding how powerful our subconscious mind is at creating our external reality, then you want to be able to pair those two together. And like I said, my higher self comes through and it's really funny when I get these impressions. And so for those of you who grew up, I think it was the 90s or the early 2000s, there was this song called The Venga Boss. I somehow that song got into my head. For those of you that know that song, I could not get it out of my head. I was, it was ridiculous. And this is when all of this download came to me. It was like my higher self was like, I'm going to really annoy you so much with this song that you actually come through with this concept of reprogramming your subconscious mind by utilizing song lyrics. And so what I began to do is I began to change that, the lyrics of that song, because it was so frustrating for me that I couldn't get out of my head. I'd wake up in the morning, it'd be in my head. I go to bed, it was in my head. I was trying everything I could to get that darn song out of my head. And so what I thought I would do is I actually sat down and I started to jot down some lyrics. And so I want to preface this show with, number one, this is not American Idol. I have never once said that I can sing. And I really do apologize if your glasses start shattering <laughs> from my voice. And number two, I am not Weird Ale. I mean, maybe I am in a parallel reality. I don't know. I mean, he does have really nice hair. But, you know, this is something that I have done for many, many years has changed the lyrics and I'm not here to make any money off of these lyrics. This is just for fun and entertainment. And I wanted to share this concept with everyone. And so I'm going to go through some songs that maybe you'll recognize and how I've changed the lyrics to help me reprogram my subconscious mind in a really fun way. And so what we're doing with this particular technique is not only are we reprogramming the subconscious mind, but we're also raising our frequency because when you start doing this, you start laughing and it's funny because you begin to connect the neural pathways in both the right and left hemispheres of the brain because you're thinking logically, but you're also thinking creatively as well because you're trying to come up with these lyrics, but then you're coming up with the tune and it just makes it really fun. And this is a really fun game to play if you're going on a long trip and you just have a song on the radio. And if you have some sort of a topic that you're trying to create or manifest in your life, you can focus those lyrics on that. So I'm using wealth and prosperity as an example, just specifically for the show, but you can use it for anything. Like I said, for your health, for your relationships, for a new job that you want, maybe for a car that you're working on manifesting. This can really um, be utilized for anything, anything that you desire. And so like I said, you know, that stinking Venga bus song was in my head. And so I went and changed the lyrics for those of you that know the song. If not, look it up. Maybe you're too young. <laughs> you don't know this song. I mean, I'm a child of the 80s. So a lot of my songs come from that time. And during this particular trip with my friend, we were listening to the 80s station on Spotify. So <laughs> that's why a lot of the songs that came through were 80s. But You've got the, the Venga bus is coming. I ended up changing it to the wealthy bus is coming. I better start preparing my bank account for the millions. It is coming to me faster than I know. All I have to do is receive the flow. So what happened after I did this? That song started to play in my mind, but I started to sing lyrics. And I noticed, I don't know if any of you get a lot of information and downloads in the shower, but I do. It's a, it seems like, you know, once I get in the shower, all this information just starts coming through to me. And I started coming up with all of these lyrics and I was having so much fun with it. And so, you know, you may recognize some of these songs. So 
you know the song don't stop believing hold on to this feeling i'm in a high frequency attracting health and prosperity so i think that's a journey song actually or ario speedwagon one or the other <laughs> And so that was a really fun one. And then as these songs kept coming on the radio, my friend and I were just laughing our tails off because it was so funny because we were having such a good time. And so one of them that came on, we kept singing it. I'm hooked on a feeling. I'm high on believing. I'm winning the lottery. So we kept singing that song. And we actually won a scratch off for $50 and it paid for our gas <laughs> on our trip. And so as we were singing that, we were laughing and having a good time. And every single time these songs would come on, we would work on changing the lyrics. And so, you know, I have been desiring buying a new SUV. I live in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, I lived in Florida for 20 years and I never really needed an SUV in Florida, but now I've been really desiring buying an SUV. And so there's this song that came on, um, when I, how's it go? When I make a million dollars or something like that. I can't remember, but as I say, I can't remember the original lyrics, but I can definitely remember my lyrics. <laughs> so I changed the lyrics to, when I cash millions of dollars, I'm going to buy an SUV, probably a Subaru Outback because of the safety. And so for those of you that recognize that song, it's really just changing the lyrics. And what you're doing is you're having fun with it, but you're also reprogramming your subconscious mind because you're singing these tunes over and over and over again. And I'd love to hear... Uh, from some of you, you know, in the comments, share, have you done this before? Is this something that you have done regularly? And is there lyrics that you've created that has helped you manifest something in your life? And uh, I just want us all to have fun with this because, you know, it really, these laws, these laws of attraction, law of assumption, law of vibration, all of these work seamlessly when we are in those higher frequencies. When we are raising our vibration, we're having fun, we're in a state of joy, and we're laughing. That's when these things start to happen. And, you know, when I started singing that Subaru Outback, I began to see Subaru Outbacks on the road everywhere. So I know it's a matter of time that I will be attracting a Subaru into my external reality. And that song will pop up in my head every now and then. And so it's just really fun to be able to utilize this technique in a way that um, can you know, help you bring more things into your external reality because we're shifting things from an internal standpoint, but we're doing it in a fun way. And I would recommend doing it you know, while you're doing things that would be considered on autopilot, like driving or going for a walk or in the shower or doing things that are very routine to you, um, tuning into this and allowing yourself to shift that energy, allowing yourself to change the lyrics. So, you know, there's this one Zach Brown band song for those of you that are, you know, into country. Um, he sings over and over and over again, and I don't have a lot of money and we don't have a lot of money. And he goes for like over a minute of singing that. And I caught myself in that one time. I thought, no, I don't want to say that statement. I don't want to say I don't have a lot of money. So I started to shift it and I have a ton of money, you know? And so every time I hear that song now, I literally tune in to the lyrics that I created. So, you know, being more consciously aware of the music that we're listening to and uh, the movies that we're watching and the shows that we're watching and how the verbiage, the wording, um, the repetition is affecting us on a subconscious level can be extremely powerful. And so, you know, as we were driving around, there's an old song from the 80s and 90s. I think it was from the movie Fame. And um, it's, uh, she works hard for the money. 
that song, that came up and I'm like, no, that is definitely not what I want to be programming into my subconscious mind. I don't want to work hard for the money. And so, you know, it was really funny because my friend and I, we were driving and I was like, oh, this is a great song to create some lyrics for. And so, you know, I kind of started jotting them down and this is what I came up with. Heaven knows she's a divine soul who is remembering who she is. She's been lied to about her power to create anything. She manifests her money, manifests her money. She manifests her money because she knows she can. So now when I hear that song, it's like, oh no. I don't work hard for the money. I manifest my money and I've changed those lyrics and it does get really difficult for me to remember the old lyrics because that's a good sign that you've reprogrammed your subconscious mind if you don't remember <laughs> what those lyrics used to be. And so I also want to bring up as well, when you're doing these affirmations and you're um, maybe creating these lyrics, tune into your physical body. This is one thing I've been noticing when I'm doing affirmations, when it comes to um, manifesting health, wealth, relationships, love, whatever it may be, when you're saying the affirmation, is your head shaking back and forth like no, or is your head shaking up and down like yes, or are you just feeling comfortable in that statement? So I began to recognize that when I would say affirmations out loud, my head would shake back and forth like, no. And that was a good indicator for me that my physical body is not in alignment with this belief yet. It's not in alignment with that affirmation. And so, you know, when I continue to say it and it becomes autopilot in the back of my mind, and at first my head would shake, yes. And now I just say it and my body is just calm and comfortable and still. I know that's when it's really really latched on. I know that that's when it's been reprogrammed is when I'm not shaking. No, that's like the beginning stages of, oh, I'm not believing this yet. I'm not at that point yet. And so really tune into that when you're saying these affirmations or when you're creating these lyrics is, it, are you actually believing it? Because that's part of the creation process is getting to a point of normalcy with that belief system or with that affirmation. Once it becomes normal, that's when it's going to manifest in your external reality. So, you know, we are shifting things with inside of us and we may not even recognize what we're shifting. And so I've been working a lot with abundance. I've been, you know, listening to a lot of different um Re repetitive affirmations around wealth, prosperity, and abundance. And we want to make sure that when we're working with abundance, that we're using certain words like wealth, prosperity, abundance, income, flow, alignment, you know, good high frequency words that will attract that uh, and align you to that frequency. And so the, the more I've been doing that, the more I'm recognizing things are, uh, presenting themselves in my external reality. So I started doing this a few months back and I've been getting so many unexpected checks in the mail. I got one for $200 the other day. I got one for five bucks. I, I've been getting a ton of gift cards too, like free Amazon gift cards. And, um, what else did I get? Oh, to be a part of a focus group for like an hour and then they pay me 200 bucks, you know, just things like that. So I'm opening myself up to receiving um, money, prosperity in ways that maybe I was limiting myself before, like, oh, I've only got to receive it from my business or I've got to receive it from this avenue. But now it's like really opening up to all these different ways that I am receiving this prosperity. And so, you know, give it a shot. See, see what you can do when it comes to whatever you are uh, working on, you know, whatever it is that you are desiring in your life. And so it's just really aligning with that frequency and having a deeper understanding that we have all of the power within us. We can, we can do this, right? And so, you know, when we're attracting things to us, we, whether it's desirable or not, we are the ones who are controlling that through our thoughts through our emotions and then the, what we're speaking or what we're presenting it out into 
our external reality. And so we can shift that at any time. We've just got to sh- go all the way back to the vibration, go all the way back to the frequency to be able to understand where is this coming from. And so one thing that I uh, have been working on, like I said, was abundance and prosperity. And I noticed myself actually this morning, I had this thought in my mind, I had these really strange dreams. So I went to bed last night listening to these amazing, you know, wealth, prosperity and abundance affirmations. And then I had these really strange dreams about people taking my money or people fighting over money. And I woke up kind of in that theta state and I caught myself and I'm like, okay, what were those dreams representing to me? And what it took me back to was my childhood when I would see my mom and dad fighting over finances. And so I knew that was a block or something within my frequency that was causing me to repel money because I don't want conflict in my life. And for me, my subconscious was correlating conflict with money, money with conflict. And so I had to clear that. I had to sit with that, really meditate on it and move that out of my system because I didn't even realize that that was a block for me. You know, most of the time, many of us have blocks around lack. And I really didn't even realize I had a block around conflict when it came to finances. And so that was very eye-opening for me. And it was really neat because these affirmations are bringing things to the surface in my dream state. And then I'm able to apply the dream in my awake state or my semi-awake state in that theta state to be able to clear that energy, to be able to move it, to shift, to change the program. So that way I can shift the frequency that I'm on, that I'm resonating with. And so It's really fun to be able to, you know, tune into this, to have a little bit more control around what's going on in our internal world, as well as what's being projected out into our external world. And, uh, you know, it's like our body is kind of like a car, right? The car doesn't drive itself. Well, some do now, (laughs) but, you know, most have to program it. Even if they do drive themselves, you have to program it and tell it where to go and how to operate and what operates our body, our subconscious mind. Okay. So when we get into our subconscious mind and we, we command, set it with some commands, we set it with a operating system, we set it with the controls that we want, then it will begin to tell our body what to do. Okay. And it'll work in correlation with that conscious mind as well. And so um, I really look forward to your comments on this show. I know, like I said, I'm not a singer. This is not American Idol. I really do apologize if I shattered some glass (laughs) that, you know, I tried out for choir when I was in high school and I was just much more better at being an athlete. (laughs) Singing was not my thing, but I do love to sing. I love to sing in the shower. It's just not something I focused on. (laughs) So I do. I look forward to your comments on this. I look forward to some of the lyrics that maybe you've come up with. Share them so that way we can all learn from one another and we can have fun doing this and raise our frequency. And I also look forward to hearing about all the amazing things that you're attracting in your life and that you're manifesting by reprogramming your subconscious mind. And so like always, I send you all so much uplifting, happy, loving energy. And I look forward to sharing more with you soon. Take care. You deserve to navigate your life in alignment with health, happiness, and abundance. To learn more about the services that I provide, including Beyond Quantum Healing Hypnosis, EFT Tapping, and The Emotion Code, visit my website at www.theexistentialempath.com.